hello it's Sarah and I have my polymer clay mosaic here all glued and finished and I painted the back and varnished it it's, it's a little I think I rushed it it's a little tacky still um, but I put a hanger on it just a little tooth hanger I like these because you can like just hammer them straight in but I have my um, I wanted to put the beads on top of it so I have these little um, kind of like a stick pin version of a bead but I want to show you what I did so I used this wire this is a 20 gauge I want to say copper wire but it says non -tarnish tarnishing gold um, but I think it's copper wire and 20 gauge is a nice gauge because it's um, it, it's pliable you can move it it's not real stiff and all I did was I took it and I made I use my round nose pliers here and you just grab the end of the wire and just twist it onto itself and make like a little kind of thing like that. So it's that's it. That's all I do. I just put that on the end and then I just string my beads on how I want them. Um, I really didn't use a lot of like good, well I did. I mean it's a mishmash. These, I know these silver ones aren't expensive. But the glass beads are more expensive. Um, and I mean, that's a Swarovski crystal. I just liked it. So yeah, I mean, there's some. I put a little charm on some of them. I think I put stars on these too. I didn't put anything on Santa. I had a reindeer, but it looked too big. And I put little bells on top of the um, these stockings. And I got these, I think. I want to say these were AC Moore last year. I think this and these were... Oriental trading I'm pretty sure so I want to show you how I do this now I also took the end of the of the wire so I cut it to like about <clears throat> with like just a like about um, maybe an inch or three quarters of an inch at the end and then I'm just gonna take my regular like needle nose pliers and just grab it and like bend it so it's like a hook see that but then I flatten out the hook just flatten it onto itself the wire so I'm kind of making a little like a, a double wire there at that point so I do, I've done that to all of them <clears throat> you see what I mean just a little double wire and that's what I did on these too okay so these actually can come out I drill the hole with my Dremel and that is just enough tightness. I, I mean, I could glue them and should glue them probably, but you don't have to. Um, I have to do one more. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to, I already did it because my battery died, of course. I was doing this and, um, but yeah, don't over, like it has to be straight so it goes into the hole. And just kind of squeeze it down on itself. Um, so yeah, so those are all done. Then what I did was I took the piece and I laid it down and I'm going to make, you know what I should probably, oh I, by the way, painting the back of it wasn't smart with the ribbon on because I did get black on the ribbon like right there. I got a lot of black, but you won't, it won't no, be noticeable. Um, so what I'm going to do is lay this down and the, I'm trying to let you see what I did I just um, it's about 12 inches I like the Tim Holtz ruler too because it has 0 to it goes 0 to 6 and 0 to 6 on both sides so I just kinda evened it out there's a little bit on each end so I put a mark right at this 0 mark here and then I'm gonna mark one and a half and three one and a half and three so an inch and a half apart and then I'm gonna drill with my Dremel now that'll be tricky too because I'm gonna see like let's see if I can just do this first hole um, right with you watching me because uh, it has ribbon and I've never drilled through ribbon before um, so we'll see how it goes but I'm just gonna see if I'm on camera and it's this one and I'm just gonna give it some pressure and I'm gonna go down about like I don't know. It went right through the ribbon, no problem. Ooh, itchy ear. 
So um, I am going to drill these and I'll be right back. So I don't know what drill bit this is, but it's just the, it's the little one that I use for everything. This drill bit is like um, the size that like you could use for it. Now I've done this technique with um, head pins and stuff. So you can use like any small gauge wire, but let's see how this works now for just sticking in. I'm going to put this little guy over the bead too, just on the bottom. So it just sits straight and sometimes it'll go, oh see my wire's bending. I'm going to um, coax this through with my um, needle nose pliers. I don't know what the best angle would be for you to see this. And maybe it's just not something I need to show on um, camera. But I'm holding it with my wire. Then I'm going to go to the hole and just push with the wire. Yeah, that's going to be better. It's a little loose, but you kind of have to coax it. Hmm. See, that's kind of tight. It's pretty tight. I'm going to try another. Let's see. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. What? I'm going to pull it out. And maybe just, I mean, you could not double over and just glue it in, but I really wanted it to be tight, you know, so that's why I opted for this method, and I've done it before. Um, let me just give it one more try. I'm holding it with my needle nose pliers, and I'm pushing. Oops, it bent. See, it bent. It's a bit awkward. Of course, on video, uh, it would be, right? Start at the bottom. And just gently, it's going down. There, I think I actually um, maybe loosened up the hole a little. And I mean, maybe I'm not going to be, you know what? It's in there pretty tight. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tighten from the top. So by that I mean just keep twisting and it tightens that way. So now all the beads are tight. Okay, so look, this is what it looks like. Can you see him? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So yeah, that is tight. Believe it or not, like it is tight. I'm yanking on it. I mean, there's movement, but it's cute. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera because it's just kind of fudgy, fiddly, and show you what it looks like. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I know the window's right there, of course, but I mean, some of them have gone in really easy and some I've had to kind of push a little bit. I think the key would be to leave a nice, at least an inch worth of wire and that way you have um, enough room to push so what I mean is like I can start kinda down low I'm gonna squeeze that it looks a little open and um, you have more room to push the wire into the hole so see I have about like an, over a quarter inch to push down See how I just pushed that down? And now I can't really push anymore because I can't, I can't grab the wire. So you can try and push from the top. So I'm going to grab it and just try and, no, you can't really do it. I mean, just push it like this and see, no, it doesn't go. So um, the only other thing you can do, and because I have charms here, it's um, a little awkward twisting it, but I would just twist these without a charm. You can twist these tight and you're good. Okay, I like it. I'm really liking it. I'm going to hang it on the wall over here. So let's see what it looks like. I'm going to put it up here. OMG, it's adorable!
I like it. I think that looks so cute. And you know what else? You could put, um, see, look, it looks really cute. You could hang things from the bottom, too. I was thinking of doing bells on the bottom, so there's a lot of options. Um, but I love it. I think it's super cute and festive looking. I think I could have even put one more on the end, and it would be super cute. But that's just about what I really had in my stash. So that is what I did, and I like it. So, I'm going to just put this down for a sec and run across the room because I want to get something. This one. Look at this. There's my little Christmas angel. Uh, my polymer clay tile piece. Maybe not above, but it's super festive, isn't it? All right. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. This was so fun for me, and I am planning on making a couple of boxes now because I have stocked up on Christmas tiles, and I think it would be neat to make a little ornament box. So that's it. Thanks for watching.